quite pungent. Don't smell it. Friends, anyone ever told you that you were a cheapskate? Perhaps you're the owner of a hair salon and when you run out of the Biolage shampoo that you use on clients, you fill it up with suave so as to not have to repurchase the Biolage. Yes, that's a true story. I worked for a lady who did that. She would also mop with like 18 week old mop water. Half the stuff in the salon was broken. She didn't want us to flush the toilet that often. I thought I had seen the most extreme cheapskate in the world when I worked for this woman, but I was wrong. I was wrong. TLC has given us the pleasure of seeing the actual most extreme cheapskates on planet Earth. So extreme that they can fill entire episodes of the show, Extreme Cheapskates. So we're gonna watch some of it together today. Buckle up. I have a feeling it's gonna be a wild ride. I'm Jimmy Fritch. I need all you dozens of viewers out there to just tell me how you like this, all right? Welcome, welcome to the show. One of the times that I noticed that Amy was a cheapskate was I came to her house. She asked me, did I want lunch? So I said, sure. She fixed me a tuna fish sandwich. As I'm eating the sandwich, I'm thinking, this is a little fishy. What is this? Tell me, please tell me it's not cat food. And then I looked on the countertop and I noticed there were cat food. Why did... Why did I know that? How did I know that it was gonna be freaking fancy feast? Cans that were empty. And I thought, no, she didn't do this. Here, made you some tuna fish. Tuna fish for people, 89 cents. Cat food for cats, 59 cents. Disgusting! Okay. <laughs> So is it the same exact ingredients? Like, is it actually just pure tuna, like what we would eat, but marketed for a cat? If so, then it's totally fine, right? But if it's got, you know, cat ingredients in there, that's where obviously we would have to draw the line. I just saved 30 cents. You saved 30 cents, but at what cost? It costs you your dignity and your reputation. Well, right now uh, I've got some uh, clothes uh, in Ziploc bags. I don't have to put them in the washing machine. It actually kills the bacteria by having them in here. I don't have to use electricity to run my washing machine. I've had clothes since high school. Can you believe that? I'm so confused. What? What does this do? I bought these 15 years ago. Look at that. By tightly packing his fridge with clothes, cookware, and canned goods, Todd cuts his energy use by nearly 10%. What? I can't figure out which part he's trying to save money on. Is he trying to save money from doing laundry or trying to make his fridge run more efficiently? Do jeans make your fridge run more efficiently? If so, we all learned something today and should be thanking him. I don't care that some people might think that some of my habits are over the top now. I mean, I got clothes in my refrigerator for God's sake. I mean, it's that's pretty cheap. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's true. I mean, it could be worse. It could be like, you got Corey's angels running around the house. You know what I mean? So this is mild. I don't do laundry. And you have to pay quite a bit in quarters. So whenever I have dirty clothes, I try to wash them while I'm showering. Say so I'm using a free sample of detergent I got. Once I'm done showering, then I lather up the clothes. That's not that weird. I don't think this is that extreme, washing your clothes while you wash yourself. Two birds with one stone, you win twice, brother. So you win twice, brother, it's good bit. Not only does the dryer um, waste money, but it shrinks clothes and it wears clothes out fast. This is very true. I used to get my hair cut once a year at a beauty school. And then I decided I would cut my own hair. Uh-oh. And that has worked out much better. I have heard that normal people pay $100 for a haircut. Now that, that is, that's very hard to imagine. I can't believe that. Well, perhaps you should try imagining it at some point, because I don't really know that the door of the Explorer haircut's working for you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm totally kidding. She actually looks fine. She got it surprisingly even. I just think it needs some layers. Like it's so thick on the bottom that it's building upon itself into Dora the Explorer. But layers won't cost you a hundred bucks. Layers might cost you like 20. I don't use toilet paper. I just use water and soap to clean myself off. I'm sorry, what was that? Let's rewind. I don't use toilet paper. I just use water and soap to clean myself off after going to the bath. Oh, how European. Kind of like a bidet. Right? Isn't that what a bidet does? Take this water bottle that I have and I rinse myself off. If I just urinate it, I'm done with that. And then I dry myself off with one of the paper towels I have. If I took a dump, then I only... <laughs> Why did I not expect her to say the words took a dump? If I took a dump? If I took a dump? <laughs> she seems way classier than that sentence, but it's just a lesson. Don't judge a book by its cover or its Dora the Explorer haircut. Wipe myself down with the soap. And then I take uh, the water, 
and rinse off the soap. I really love that she's demonstrating this for us. <laughs> like, you know, the producers are sitting there like, uh-huh, yeah, show us what you mean. Don't just describe it. Act it out, sound it out. Put the water bottle near closer to your butt. <laughs> That gives me an idea for a TikTok. I have a gym membership, and that's where I take my shower. I like to work out. I'm kind of a gym rat. I'm there every day anyway. This is where I deposit my urine. Oh, okay. That escalated really quickly. I was thinking, oh, hey, I could see that if you're at the gym every day. Yeah, that's not that extreme. That makes sense. Oh, my God. Why are you holding a bottle of urine? In an effort to save money, I started peeing in a jar. Just, uh coincidentally happens to be in a lemonade jar. Quite pungent. Don't smell it. Nothing about smelling it on camera for thousands of people on national television was necessary. Quite pungent. And the longer it sits, the stronger it gets. I don't like that you know that information. I don't like that you smiled after smelling it like, Mm, quite pungent. Quite pungent. <laughs> we got some more. We got a. We got. We got. We might have a little bit more of a problem than just being a cheapskate with this one. I had read online that you can put your urine into your compost pile, and I thought, wow, I can pee in a jar, build my compost, and not have to flush my toilet. My water bill went from thirty dollars a month to twenty dollars a month. So there's ten dollars right there. See, like a lot of the money these people are saying is like not that much. I'm not saying ten dollars is nothing, but it's not. Is ten dollars worth all this effort? Or like the last lady who was saving six dollars a month? It's six dollars a month. Is it worth the effort that you have to put in? Is it worth looking like Dora the Explorer? You tell me. So I pee in a bottle, but don't get me wrong. I, you know, I poop like everybody else, and I put that in the toilet. And so I flush probably one or, one or two times a day. Good to know. Careful budget tracking. It's reducing costs in every way possible. I'm upset. I'm upset. I don't like seeing people spit stuff. difficult for me. What are you gonna do with it? It just seemed like such a waste to only use mouthwash once when it's antiseptic anyways. There's 30 uses in that big mouthwash and about 30 cents a use. But if I reuse it a second time, that gets it down to 15 cents a use because I'll have 60 uses. No, no. That's like saying, hey, my dog peed on the floor. I'm just gonna dump some soap on it. Mouthwash gets <laughs> Mouthwash gets all this stuff that is in your teeth, meaning meaning chunks, right? Oh my God, I'm so upset. I literally feel like I'm gonna throw up. Of all the things to be grossed out about mouthwash, reused mouthwash, oh my God, that's so disgusting. Time's up. By keeping the joint speed shower to just two minutes, the parents have sliced their monthly water bills in half. So they've applied this frugal strategy to each and every bathroom ritual. For cotton swabs, Chris will use one end, and then once she's done, I'll use the other. With the deodorant, we actually share that too. And we're only allowed one wipe per armpit. We share our toothbrush. So much extra thinking and wasted time and effort to save literal cents every month. We don't have to buy another toothbrush. We're so cheap that we share our tooth floss. Oh my God, you guys are disgusting, no. I am very, 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 very upset about this. What is the point of flossing? Flossing is part of a hygiene routine, right? It's supposed to be more hygienic. It seems like it kind of defeats the purpose if you're gonna be eating your wife's three-day-old bacon that was stuck between her back molars in the process. Just my opinion. Oh, I think that's quite gross, actually. I think uh, it's floss. It's probably 99 cents. I think you should get rid of it. I have this strange feeling that it was all the husband pushing that. He seems, he seems, he looks like a guy who would force people to use his bacony floss. You know what I mean? Man, guys, I think that's all I can take today. I f literally feel nauseated over the mouthwash. I don't know why. <laughs> Do you ever just have certain things that gross you out for some reason? It's probably because I know mouthwash is super burny and hurts and having food chunks in it would just add insult to injury. You know what I'm saying? Every video has a lesson and today's lesson is don't be an extreme cheapskate. Save your money where it counts. Save your money in ways that make sense and don't harm yourself or others. And always save your money in a way that won't cause you to end up with a Dora the Explorer haircut. If I took a dump. Let me know guys, let me know down below if you're into short reaction content. I still feel weird about this on YouTube. I still feel like it's not the right platform.
but I'm trying to give the people what they want. So give me your feedback. Personally, for me, it's very fun and very easy and doesn't take a lot of research or scripting. And we get blessed with content like this. You know, we get blessed with a weird lady demonstrating to a camera crew how she washes poop off of her butt. So I'm game. I'm personally game if you guys are. Thanks again for being here. Check out my other social accounts for other forms of fun content. And I'll catch you guys on the flip side. <laughs> Peace out. Bye. <laughs>